Will Atletico Madrid brush the Blues aside or will Chelsea walk into the second leg with an advantage? Watch until the end of this preview to hear all of my thoughts on tomorrow's match. Hello people, welcome to my channel, welcome to another video, this is my preview for the match that will be taking place tomorrow evening in Romania at the Arena Nazionale in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 between Atletico Madrid and Chelsea with kickoff at 8pm UK time. So what I'm going to do for you guys in terms of this preview is that firstly, I'll be giving you guys the team news concerning both sides. And as always with these previews, I'll be kicking things off with the team news concerning the home side. And in the case of tomorrow's match, I'll be kicking things off with the Atletico Madrid team news because they're actually meant to be the home side. But of course, the Arena Nazionale is a neutral venue. But anyways, I'll be giving you guys my lineup based on the team news in which I'm going to give you. And lastly, I'll be giving you guys my score prediction. So without further ado, let's get straight into this preview. So kicking things off with the Atletico Madrid team news, there are two stories concerning the Atletico Madrid first team. And the first one concerns Jose Jimenez, Sime Vasalco, Yannick Carrasco and Hector Herrera. And this story explains that Jose Jimenez, Sime, Sime Vasalco and, Yann and Yannick Carrasco sorry, um, are injured while Hector Herrera will be absent after testing positive for COVID-19. So I have to say that is some very bad news for them because they are all good players and you, and you never know, they could end up missing them tomorrow um, evening. But yes, um, that is the first story concerning the Atletico Madrid first team. The second and final story concerning the Atletico Madrid first team concerns Kieran Trippier, Luis Suarez and Joao Felix. And this story explains that Kieran Trippier will be out after breaking betting rules, but both Luis Suarez and Joao Felix should start tomorrow. Again, a bit of bad news there, but some excellent news regarding their two attacking players, um, Luis Suarez and Joao Felix. And I have to say that they are two players that we are going to have to look out for. But yes, that is it for the Atletico Madrid team news. Now moving straight on to the Chelsea team news. There's only one story concerning the Chelsea first team and it concerns Thiago Silva, Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic. And this story explains that Thiago Silva will be absent for tomorrow's first leg because um, this game will be too soon for him. But Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic are available for selection. And I have to say that that is absolutely fantastic news for us because um, we have been hit by injuries recently and some of our key players have been missing. And it's just great to have them back because you never know, we might just need them in tomorrow's game. If anything, we do need them in tomorrow's game. Um, but yes, um, hopefully Thiago Silva recovers soon. Or gets back into full match fitness soon, shall I say, because he has recovered. He's back in training, but he's just not at full match fitness. But yes, that is it for the team news concerning both sides. Some very bad news for Atletico Madrid, I have to say, but also some decent or good news for them as well. Um, I can say the same about us as well. Some bad news for us regarding Thiago Silva, but some great news for us regarding Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic. But yes, that is it for the team news concerning both Atletico Madrid and Chelsea. Now for my lineup, and as always, starting off with the formation, I have chosen to go with a 3 4 3 slash 3 4 2 1 because Atletico Madrid have been wedded to a back three system in a lot of their recent games, and they have been using a 3 1 4 2 a lot recently. And I've said it in one of my previous videos that one of the best ways to counter a 3 5 2 is by using a formation that is very similar to it. And in this case, I have chosen to go over 3 4 3 slash 3 3 4 2 1 for that reason. Sorry for stuttering there. But yes, that is the reason why I have chosen to go with this formation. In terms of the personnel I have chosen for my lineup, I have gone with Edouard Mendy in goal. I've gone with a back three of Cesar Asplaqueta, Andres Christensen and Antonio Rudiger. I have gone with a midfield four, including the wingbacks from right to left of Rhys James, Jorginho, Mateo Kovacic and Marcos Alonso. And I have decided to go with a front three from right to left of Mason Mount, Olivier Giroud and Christian Pulisic. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I did struggle to pick um, the players for my lineup. 
but that is the lineup that I've gone with. Please guys do put your sorry, please guys do put your lineups in the comment section below. And as always, I'll do my very best to respond. And here is a graphic showing you guys the formation that I've chosen and the personnel that I've chosen for my lineup. Now to conclude this preview, I am going to give you guys my score prediction. I have gone with a 1-1 draw because this is an incredibly difficult one to call. I mean, both sides have fantastic quality in them and Atletico Madrid have been tearing up the league of this season. And I have to say that despite all the injuries and absentees they'll have going into this game, they still have a fantastic squad. So we have to be at it from the get-go. And I know I always say that, but we definitely have to be at it from the get-go in tomorrow's first leg. Because if we aren't, then we could go into the second leg with a mountain to climb. But yes, I do believe that we have the tools to test them. I just think it's going to be a, re a really difficult game for us. Hopefully we'll come out on, sorry, hopefully we'll come out on top. But we'll just have to see, won't we? But anyways, that's why I have gone over 1-1 draw. And that is it for this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Just before I say that, please do put your score predictions in the comment section below. And as always, I'll do my very best to respond. But yes, like I've said, that is it for this preview. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And I'll see you all very soon for some more videos. Um, just before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to a friend of mine um, who, has, who has an amazing Twitch account. Her name is Loza. Her name is Lauren Langley, sorry for stuttering guys, and I'll put a link to her Twitch account in the description box below. But anyways, come on you blues, and peace.